Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. It's Croak, and today we're going to be going over how to make 389k in less than 30 minutes in the salvage yard getting the Enus Stafford. If you're new here, please smash that subscribe button to join the Crow crew along with liking the video to help with the algorithm. Let's get into it. Heading over to your computer, all you have to do is go to the Enus Stafford right here. It's 389k, but you have to pay 20k to start it up. So there's going to be some dialogue right here. Make sure you have body armor, food, weapons, and an MK2 or equivalent when starting any of these missions. The first mission we are going to do is the Police Maverick. We are going to head over to Weasel News Building, so we just have to go to that yellow portal. When you get to the yellow portal, all you have to do is go to the signal box, which is located right around this area right here. It's going to be that green little arrow on top of that box. You're going to click that right arrow to hack into the box. Your main objective is to get that target number. I'm gonna fast forward and show you what the target number pattern is going to be. As you can see, this is the pattern to get to the target number of 10. After you hacked into that little box, you have to go to the hospital. So I'll meet you guys at that portal. When you get to the hospital, you're going to have to access the roof. I'm gonna show you guys how to get up there. I mean, MK2 is always recommended, but if you don't have that, I'm gonna show you how to get up there. So there's going to be some stairs that you're gonna to have to go up right over there. I'm gonna go up over on this area, take that ladder, and you're simply going to get up here. And all you have to do is go this general area and get to this police maverick located right there. It's that blue arrow. You didn't wanna get hit simply by the propeller there. So we're simply going to get inside and steal the police maverick. The cops are going to be after you. So all you have to do is just fly away super fast. We're gonna fast forward and show you guys where we need to put this helicopter after we get away from the cops. Now we're just going to go to that marked location. So I'm gonna show you guys where it's at once we get there. Once you get over there, all you have to do is simply land the helicopter in that yellow portal and that should be the end of the mission. You just have to leave the area after. The next mission we're gonna do is tactical gear. All you have to do is go to the little picture, click on it, and it'll start up. All we have to do is go to Rockford Hills, and I'll meet you guys at the yellow portal over there. After you get to Rockford Hills, take out the MPCs in the front. You're gonna have to take the ladder off to the side right here. So simply just go up this ladder, go past this MPC, and there's going to be some more NPCs right here, but simply the yellow portal where you have to go is located right over there. Make sure you have your body armor and food ready to go along with good weapons. Let's go to that yellow portal. Now we're gonna simply go down and locate the tactical gear. We're gonna fast forward here. We're gonna go down to this door and you're simply gonna go through it and we have to take out NPCs, but you wanna get to the van that is simply located on the map. That little clear icon or the white icon, you wanna to go to the back of each van and check each one of them. So I'm gonna fast forward to show you guys which one it's going to be in. So it's going to be the second van. So you're simply gonna see that first one there. It's the second closest to the door that you came in. So we're simply going to steal the tactical gear. Just get inside and you're going to click the R2 to drive simply out of this area. There's going to be NPCs that are going to simply try to get you. All you have to do is deliver us to the salvage yard, and that's the end of the mission. For the robbery task, you're simply going to go to the green bag with the hammer and screwdriver. We're going to do this first one right over there, and we're simply going to contact Jamal and stash weapons for the robbery. You're going to click that right arrow. We're going to head over to the ammunition. I'm going to show you what spots it could possibly be at. All I have to do is just head inside right into the ammunition and simply just walk through the first spot, which is located right there, which is already there. The bag could be right over here is where the bag could be, or in the range area, you go through this door. You're simply going to go by the bag, click that right arrow, and now we're gonna head over to the police station, and I'll see you guys over at the police station. When you get to the police station, you go through the gate, and you're gonna go to this green garbage can. You're simply going to stash the weapons underneath, clicking the right arrow. After that, you just have to get in your vehicle and leave the area, and that's the end of the first robbery task. The second robbery task is located right here that we're going to do, and we're gonna be stealing a getaway vehicle, so click that right arrow to start it up. Now we're gonna head over to the garage and simply break in. Once you're inside, you're going to take out NPCs and we're going to be stealing the getaway car. So we're gonna fast forward until I take out the NPCs and show you which car I personally like taking. And make sure you take cover and have body armor and make sure you take out 
this NPC that's right here because he will do a lot of damage. I always go for the 300R that is in the back. It's that orange vehicle right here and you're simply going to get in it. It's up to you, it's up to preference, but I simply love the 300R and all I'm gonna do is exit the garage now. We're gonna stash the vehicle at the mark location so I'm gonna show you guys which location is best for this route. We're gonna fast forward here. The garage that is furthest away from the police station, which will be right in this general area, is the one that you wanna park in. I'll show you guys on the map right here is the one you wanna go into. Simply just drive your car and click that right arrow. All you have to do is leave the area and that's the end of the second robbery task. For the final robbery task here, it's going to be on the map, the screen bag right here. It's the third one. And we're gonna be stealing stun weapons for the robbery. So we're gonna search the parking lot for the security vehicles if I can actually fly over there. So once we get to the security vehicle, I'm gonna show you which area it's going to be in. So it's right here in the front of the golf course. You're simply going to go to the back trunk and you're going to open it up and take the weapon. You're gonna take the weapon and we're gonna deliver the stun weapons to the salvage yard and that is the end of the robbery task once you get to the salvage yard. Heading back to the computer, we're gonna simply start the robbery. Make sure you have body armor, food, weapons, and an MK2 or equivalent. All right, we're starting the robbery, and our target is Enus Stafford, so we're waiting for instruction now. All we have to do is get to that yellow portal, probably where the police maverick is at. Once you get to the police maverick, you're gonna head inside and you're simply going to fly to Mission Row Police Station. Once you get to the helicopter pad, you simply just have to land on that yellow portal. Once you do that, you're simply going to take out the NPC that is by the door right here. So now what we have to do is throw the BZ gas into the ventilation units. So all you have to do is just get on top and simply drop the BZ gas inside. We're gonna fast forward and show you guys what happens after. There's simply going to be a cutscene of NPCs coming out of the station. Now we're going to enter the Mission Row Police Station and we have to find some keys. We have to get to the first floor. Once you get to the first floor, you're gonna take out a few NPCs, but we're trying to locate the keys. So I would check the doors right here. There's always a possibility of it being in there. If not, you're gonna keep going. I'm gonna fast forward until we find them and show you guys where it's at. So where the keys are gonna be at is you're simply going to go from the stairs coming down. You're gonna go right over here and the keys are inside. You're gonna see that green arrow. You're gonna simply take the keys and now we just have to go to the stairs like that white block right here. You're simply gonna go down the stairs and you're gonna head over to the computer and take out this NPC right here. You're gonna keep going and get to that computer that is in this general area and take out this other NPC. Now what we're gonna do is unlock the security door. You're gonna go on that computer, click the right arrow, and you're gonna get the red letters in the middle of the screen. I'm gonna do it in real time, showing you guys how easy it actually is. Take your time and boom, we got it. We're gonna head over to King Tiny's cell, which is this middle cell. You're gonna open it up, click that right arrow. And we're gonna take out this NPC that's right there. Make sure you have more body armor and food. There's gonna be more NPCs to come, so take them out as we escort King Tiny to the exit. It's gonna be one, and then the second one's right here. And boom, we took them out, and we're gonna escort King Tiny. You're going to go to that trash can and simply just click that right arrow and get the stash weapons. Now equip the weapon and you're going to hit that box just one time. And now we're just gonna run all the way down where our vehicle is at. Wait for King Tiny to get out of that area. Probably gonna have to take out a few NPCs. If not, just keep going and King Tiny will follow you. So don't worry about the cops too much. Just take them out as you go and King Tiny will simply follow. So you wanna get to that vehicle as soon as possible. So get to your vehicle, wait for King Tiny, and I'm gonna show you guys the best route to lose the cops super quick. You're gonna follow the train tracks, and we're gonna go to the acid lab, that, that big factory. I'll show you guys on the map where it's at. Once you said the warehouse, you're simply gonna go right here. It's like that little square right there. You're simply gonna park in the left corner. Turn off your lights if need be so the cops don't see you. We're gonna fast forward until we lose the cops. Now we're gonna King we're gonna take King Tiny back to LSIA. So we're gonna fast forward until we get him there. Once you get to that yellow portal, you're just gonna drive into it. There's gonna be a little cutscene. Then we're gonna go and infiltrate the Vagos hideout. So we'll meet you guys at the yellow portal over there. 
Once we get to the Vague Elves hideout, you're simply going to take cover behind your car, get the best weapon you can out, and simply take out the NPCs. We're going to fast forward until we get that car taking out all the NPCs. Once you get to the garage right in this area, you're simply going to be able to get the vehicle, the Stafford. We're simply going to drive it back to the salvage yard. And I'll meet you guys over there. All right, we managed to get the car back. So you just have to drive it into that yellow portal and you'll go inside. We'll show you guys once inside how to sell the car for the max price. All right, the robbery is complete. We got an extra $20,000 if you follow my instruction. So that's pretty nice right there. We're gonna go by the driver's door. Simply click that right arrow. And as you can see, you're gonna sell it for $389,000. If you enjoyed the video, please smash that subscribe button to join the Crow Crew along with liking the video to help with the algorithm. I'm Croak and I'm out.